service members and veterans, they come from communities just like this all across our country. And when we take the uniform off, we come back to these communities. So it's not just about our federal government and what they're doing. They're a big part of it, but it's our communities and what they're doing to, to re-embrace and bring back in our veterans and reintegrate them into our communities. The bomb that got me was ammonia nitrate, a fertilizer bomb uh, in, in uh, layman's terms. Um, and there's, there's a very, there's a very profound smell to that, a very strong smell to that. And this is almost a year later from me being hurt. And I'd worked through a lot, I'd been in counseling and stuff, and I'll never forget, I came home on leave, and that helmet was in a box that was at my dad's. And he hadn't opened it. And I was so excited to, to pull my helmet and finally see my helmet. When I opened that box, that smell of ammonia nitrate was sealed in there. And uh, my dad rushed over, and I'm getting emotional talking about it. My dad rushed over and he watched uh, the color drain from my face. And uh, just the tears just started pouring from me. And I gripped that helmet and just the instant reminder of everything. And I was in a state of shock. This isn't just about the soldier. This is about him coming home, stepping into a family. The family does not know him at all anymore because he's not the same dad that went over to war. He came back as a changed man. So I met Wayne um, and we started dating and um, I was completely unaware of really what I was getting myself into and, uh, and taking on the role of a caregiver. I had always thought of myself as a patriotic all-American. I felt strongly about putting my hand over my heart and standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem and um, thanking servicemen and women for their sacrifice. And what I came to realize through my relationship with Wayne and then later becoming his caregiver is that I truly, as much as I wanted to understand the sacrifice that our soldiers um, put on the line, I really had no clue, no frame of, of reference to what that would look like. Uh, and, and being with Wayne has really taught me a different perspective on what it is that these men and women sacrifice for our freedoms. Um, I knew things were going to be a struggle uh, physically, but that part was, um, that was the easy part. <laughs> um, mentally and emotionally, uh, nothing could prepare me for, for coming back home. I was used to the, uh, the on the go and the uh, the always having a plan, the, the you had an objective, you, you knew what you had to do. Um, the structure, the structure was, uh, was missing, the guidance was missing. Nobody, I, uh, old friends that I reconnected with, they couldn't understand. Family, I, I was detached from, from so much around me, from the old passions that I had. I, I used to be in a band, I was detached from that family I was detached from. I couldn't relate to anybody anymore. I, I was detached from the world around me and the world I once knew and was very intimate with. I found myself surrounded by a world I no longer knew. The boy that left South Dakota, the boy that stood in the recruiter's office and raised his right hand, when I, 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 I continued to be that boy up until that moment that first bullet went past my head. That bullet didn't strike me, but at that moment that boy died. That boy was never going to come home again. I came home physically, but I never came home.